What's up, Libra? Welcome to your 333 reading. Let's get right into it. These are available at sacredlibra.com. So you can get your own personalized 333 reading where we do a three card spread in love, a general message, and a butterfly message. Okay. All right, let's start with love. Please only take the readings that resonate. If you find something here that resonates with you, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's see. What is coming through for Libra in love? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Flip the energies if you need to. All right, Spirit is calling in your soulmate. Actually, actually you are. The more that you affirm, the more that you visualize, it brings you closer to your soulmate. Okay, so you're getting engaged. Do you know what to dance? That's what I'm thinking about. It's an anniversary. Um, somebody could, could be getting engaged. And you're going to save that date that you got engaged. And I don't know. You probably can use that date as an anniversary. I'm not sure. But you're calling in your soulmate and you are going to be getting engaged. I feel like you may have some history from this person. You may know this person uh, because there's forgiving and learning. There may be some things that you may have to forgive about your past, past relationships. You may have had to forgive them, a person. Like, you could have had some past issues with them in the past. But a lot of this comes from you releasing the past, whether it was a past with them or not. But also, I'm getting, like, it's someone who contacts you. It's something that you get when you are in your, like, affirmations. You're speaking light and life over yourself when you're visualizing you're doing your like reality shifting or scripting or whatever getting real law of attraction -y. somebody comes and contacts you and that is the energy that you need to stay in all right tell me more about calling in your soulmate for a Libra. okay you got the judgment card this person is going to be the real deal you're going to see somebody's true colors also, this is a gift from the universe, too. Um, you've awakened now. I feel like now you know who your soulmate is or not. now you may know what you want. There could also be a phone call from someone. Somebody's working hard for you. Someone is dead. You're going to see a person's... So spirit is about to reveal to you a person's true dedication to you. Okay. All right, we have the engagement with the star in reverse. You see, the star is like this panicky, this loving, I mean, not this panicky, this patient, loving type of energy. The star in reverse. There could be something that's happening in your life, whether you're going through a, a dark moment. So this is a real dark moment, whether this could be in health or whether this could be just in life for the moment. And there's an engagement. There's a deeper level of commitment. A person really commits themselves to you. OK, we do have the temperance here. So there is a reconciliation or there is like a peaceful resolution. Maybe there's a dark moment that happens within the relationship and the resolution or um apology is linked to an engagement or a deeper level of commitment so you're going to see spirit is going to be revealing to you how dedicated this person is to you the true colors okay forgiving and learning and ending, ending the cycle you could be forgiving somebody for an act of betrayal or a um, betrayal of trust um there could have been some type of betrayal, betrayal of trust that you dealt with in the past, you dealt with in the past with a person. 
again still this person is dedicated to you so i feel like you could have dealt with a person who told you all the good things but when it was time to show it or when it was time for you to bank on it, they just didn't measure up. And now you're meeting a person. What's coming out for them is really, really dedicated. It could be some like an earth sign or something. It's like rural, solid, stable, dedicated, serious type of energy. Like they are not playing about it. I'm also getting like somebody could be real, real stubborn, but not stubborn. But it's like they say what they say. I don't know. It's like they, they, they said what they said. I have no idea what I'm... Like I say, I mean what I say. Also, you could have dealt with somebody who lied to you a lot. Do you know Why is that in my head? It's sign I see. Do you know Okay. All right, let's get into general. If y'all can see how many decks I have <laughs> over here. All right, let's see. Don't stop. Self-acceptance. And power of and intention. Be intentional in your actions. Message from the ancestors. Mother, Father, God. Know that the universe loves you just like a mother or father loves their child. And it is okay for you to be swaddled up in the universe's love right now. Don't stop. Current energy. There's something that spirit doesn't want you to stop doing. Like you're in the right direction. Keep on going. When it comes to career, there's a need for you to be more of yourself. Show yourself more. And in showing more of yourself, you have to accept yourself. You have to love yourself. So there may need to be some type of self-confidence when it comes to you in the career field. And be very, very intentional about your actions, what you do, what you say. All right, tell me more about don't stop. All right, get out the house and go have fun. So right now you're having fun and spirit likes that. Don't stop having fun. Keep doing that. I'm happy here. So there could be somebody somewhere that you're going outside of the house and spirit is like, okay, you need, you need more of that in your life. So keep on going. This could be a person who you are hanging out with that gets you out of the house. So keep on going. Get more people like this. <laughs> Stay around this person. So, yeah, don't stop having fun. Focus on your priorities. Make fun your priorities. Um, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention. And time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So, fun fun whatever it is that you're having fun get out the house go do more of that it's making you feel more confident also it's one of the priorities what's all that work if you're not playing a little bit tell me more about uh self-acceptance okay we have a close snake okay so there's a close snake here um I feel like there could be somebody who's making you feel less confident about what it is that you're do what it is that you're doing. God, I'm going out for a drink. Someone could want to you to go out for a drink. Somebody could be asking you to go out for a drink. There's a need for you to know yourself. Yeah, in the presence of your enemies. You may be surrounded by the in the presence of your enemies. I feel like if you are, you could work around like a whole bunch of people who don't like you. So what? You are not here for them. I feel like this could also be like another way 
God is alchemizing, using the wickedness of others just to boost your confidence so that you're good in any room that you step in. So, yeah, you might be in this room or this place where the people around you don't like you, but keep on loving yourself and keep on showing more of you and being confident. So now you know how to move in a room full of anybody. So spirit is teaching you how to move in a room full of snakes. Clock that tea. Clock it. <laughs> Let's see. See if we're going to take these. See if we're going to take these. Okay, clear yourself. Ask the angels that you release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed with these snakes so close to your to your money savings as you consistently save for the future your future is saved do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds this is a part of your self-care okay so self-acceptance self-care and a path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life's purpose so a lot of, of about this uh self-acceptance is you saving for yourself start putting away money for yourself also, have you asked your angels for help with this? Your angels want to help you with this situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. Allow your angels to intervene. Allow your angels to intervene. Also, stay optimistic and release. Just try to release any things. Any things that... What, and when it's toxins, okay... Now, what is a toxin? A toxin is some type of bacteria that gets into a healthy, a healthy environment and it slowly begins to turn the environment toxic, toxic. So there's something that you've allowed in about you. So what is some type of negative belief systems or negative thoughts that you could have allowed in by being around people who don't have the best intentions for you um, and you could have let that I made that an identity of yourself where you could have you know start second guessing about yourself or looking at yourself differently or noticing something about yourself that you may not have noticed before there's need for you to re release that type of energy clear that out all right be very well attention in and <laughs> intentional about your about your uh actions hard work pays off you can brag being really really intentional about your actions it's going to put you in a place where you're going to be able to brag now and you have a brand new brand new start which means it's like you get some type of wish fulfillment all because you were intentional about your actions you got employment change um, your career path is leading you to a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. All right, so cut your cords here. Any attachments that you have to people um, who can lead you to destructive patterns paths things like that there's also a twin flame that's going to help you that's going to bring some funding or um that could that could meet you get you to touch uh elbows with the right people um this could be a friend or this may be a stranger that's really your twin flame really your twin all right let's get into let's see let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay, what's coming out? Defamation. Defamation of character. No. Eighth house. What's getting you off right now? Overindulgences. And distance is coming out. Messages. 
defamation, the eighth house, and distance. It's coming out. Tell me more about defamation. Okay, so it's exposed. Somebody could be trying to defame your character on a wide level. Um, also, I'm getting that somebody may try to like defame your character, and you ended up you end up getting popular from it. That's that happens a lot too. Somebody may call themselves like trying to expose somebody but what you actually do is bring fame to that person um <laughs> but something is happening on a wide a broad scale uh this could definitely be happening in family too that's also coming up i want to go in the kipper all right i want to go in the kipper I'm going to be adding this to the readings, the personals too, going into the Kipper. All right. 333 readings available at sacredlibra.com. Make sure you check that out if you are interested. Yeah. You got poverty. So I feel like somebody could be trying to say you're broke. Um... For some of you guys, it's it's going to be the same people who try to defame your character that's going to be reaching out to you because they are they are broke or they are in poverty at the moment and acting like they they concerned and they miss you and they want to be together again or they want to be friends or whatever the hell. All right, yeah, we have a tower here. The crumbling of a false foundation. You got justice coming. Justice changes your life. Justice changes your life on a wide scale. Justice completely changes your life. Yeah, you have, look at you, the Queen of Pentacles, being able to give to herself, give what she gives everybody. The Queen of Pentacles is like the generous queen. So she's giving everything to everybody, but now you're in a position where you're able to give all of this good stuff to yourself. All right, let's see. What's going on in the eighth house? What's Libra getting off on right now? Okay, so there's a mystery. Something that you found out. That's something that you found out. Let's see. Okay, you got expectation. Okay, so here's your weird sister, sister humor. So you found out that the person was expecting you to fail or expecting you to do bad and you're doing so, so, so the opposite. <laughs> you're doing so, so the opposite. You're actually doing really, really well and you're just cracking up like that somebody was expecting you to fail or expecting something to go wrong for you or it to go... I don't know how they were expecting to go, but you know, you know that a person is kind of upset and you're, you're, you're happy. Yeah, you got the Knight of Pentacles here. There was a long awaited message that you got. Look, you are in financial fulfillment. I feel like somebody was expecting you to, to be in the five of Pentacles, but you're actually in the nine of Pentacles. And they've been watching and watching and watching and watching, just watching things go. So you know that a person, it's like when a person was hoping you do bad, but you're actually doing good. And you're like, I know that it's eating them up on the inside. That's what's getting you off right now. That's what's making you have a good old laugh or a good old, like it's bringing endorphins in your body. Like, ah, you thought... it. 
Okay, tell me more about distance. Why is distance here? Where does Libra need to create distance? Okay. There's some distance. Okay, so you could be moving. Some of you guys may need to leave distance. Like, keep some some type of home life sacred. Like, everybody don't need to know what's going on at home in your relationship. And your, like, close-knit relationships. Also, you may distance yourself. You may move away. Um... Yeah, there's this energy about a love relationship. A rela you may be moving in with the person, or this could be a marriage. Um, and there's a need for you to keep your marriage distant away from a certain person because they will try to pose as a threat in your marriage. They will try to just create... You know how sometimes people just create like difficult energy, like make things difficult, and that weighs on the relationship a lot. Let's see. Got the privileged lady here. You could be a prep. Somebody, you could be getting like a big old house somewhere or moving. Yeah, you could be getting like a big old house somewhere. For some of you guys, you could be marrying a, a wealthy man or a wealthy woman and you're privileged because of that or something like that. And there's a need for you to protect some type of bond. Protect, or this could be, yeah, you, somebody is going to go into sudden wealth. Um, I'm also getting that, like, you could be, like, there could be a judge or someone who could you get some some type of money or something from you get awarded some type of judge it's like sudden wealth you weren't expecting it you don't even know this probably be news to you right now um there could be a mature woman that's behind this that could have left you something or someone was smart they was able to outsmart something they were able to put something somewhere else Okay, Queen of Swords here. Yeah, you're gonna have to distance yourself from somebody. Keep keep either your love or the people that you love distant from some energy. It could be this people, these people who are trying to defame your character. It could be these people who are expecting you to fail or expecting something to go wrong. And you can see that they're upset. And because something isn't going the way that they want it to go for you, they could try to then insert themselves to make it go that way. All right. Also, I'm getting like when you end the cycle, things speed up faster for you. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.